the last part of the tutorial and probably the most important part, which is annotating your data so that you can better understand exactly what's going on. And I think the best way of doing this is to create a new layer and treat it as an overlay. So you've got all this base data and then on top of this, you're going to point out what's interesting to point out. So to come up with a new layer, there's this um, icon over here on the right called Layers. And by the way, if these icons don't show up like this for you when you open it, you can go to Window and click on these and you'll, they'll appear. So here's Layer. Everything right now is on Layer 1. If you wanted to add a new layer, you press down here to create a new layer and double click to rename it. So I'm going to call these Notes. And um, and I, I can also hide things here by pressing the I. All of these are on the same layer. I can also lock them in this one. So now if I try to select them, they don't select. Nothing happens. If I deselect that lock, if I unlock it, I can now select them. Notice, though, I can't select anything that's in my master page. I have to go to my master in order to select those things. So, on my notes layer, I am, I would like you to make sure that you um, do a really good job of annotating these. And so, for instance, um, one way of annotating would be to I'm going to go to view, over, over print preview so I can see these a little better. And I would expect that my utility bill and my model and my benchmark should all have about the same fuel use. But you can see that this, so this is the fuel use, the dark gray, and the fuel use in the model is this dark blue and the, this blue, which is space heating and hot, or hot water heating and space heating. And the same with the benchmark, this is um, hot water heating and space heating. So although I would expect or, or hope that they all line up and have the same amount of, um, of energy use intensity, in fact, they're not lining up. So one way that I might annotate this is to kind of draw a line from one to the other. like that, and maybe I'll give this a really recognizable color so that uh, it's clear, I, I'm clear to myself what I'm trying to do here. So I'm going to go to my swatches and choose, um, by the way, you can change the fill and the uh, stroke here just by toggling. So you can see that it's changing my fill and stroke. I want the fill to be clear, so none, and I want the stroke to be, let's say it's pink, uh, or maybe red. And the stroke size maybe 0.75, and I'm gonna make these dashed, like that. So, so then um, from this, I can then perhaps point out with a, a leader that um, that uh, that I want the, that, that these are different but I would expect them to be the same. I'm going to press control H here again to get rid of these boxes and control comma to get rid of the guidelines and um, maybe I want yeah maybe this is good. I, I'm going to do all the annotations in red so, um, what's, what would be a good annotation here? Uh, would expect all, or maybe all models should show similar fuel consumption, but they don't. Um, if you if you um, run into this problem where you're typing and it and it doesn't um, show it, 
it's either because your computer is lagging, which is what's happening to mine right now, or you're typing off of the um, edge of the box. And I'll show you what I mean here. Here's the box. If I move the box in like this, you'll see that not all of the text shows up. And I can troubleshoot this by clicking on it, and you see this plus sign right here. That means that it's not all there. Uh, the reason that this happens, or the, the reason they give you this option, is because when you're typing long, long bits of text, you can um, continue that text by clicking on that plus sign, and then clicking somewhere else and, and making a new um, text box. So that if you were to erase something from this side, it would all flow through. Um, I can then just delete this other one and come back to this. Okay, so I really don't like this font again. I'm going to go back to my Lucida Sans um, and I'm going to make this red as well. To make the, the font red I can come here and think this should work. There it is. And maybe I'll just drag this out to the side Um, by the way, as you annotate these, I expect you to start to hypothesize about why things are performing differently, not just that they're performing differently. So all models should show similar fuel consumption, but they don't because I might have underestimated the what's the second one is space heating requirements or space heating uh, fuel use. So I can then take this, drag it out to here, maybe make sure that that's linked. You can also make um, arrow heads by going to that stroke box. You can um, have the arrow begin at the start, which is because I dragged this way, or you can have the arrow head begin at the end. Of course, we don't want to do that now. Um, and so, uh, I hope this is clear. The In the final analysis, I would really like for you to have a whole set of annotations. These should be marked up pretty well to show your understanding of the uh, the modeling assumptions and limitations.